Hey fellow Garage Golfers, Rowling here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Today, we're gonna to be testing out a real treat. It's the 2021 Cleveland Elevato Putter. It's on the 2021 hot list, gold from Golf Digest. So I'm looking forward to unboxing this, unwrapping this bad boy, showing it to you. Then we're gonna take it on, on the golf course with Gilbert and Danny and give you our opinion on this hot putter, all for under $200. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf simulators, and pretty much info on anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification for more videos like what you see here today. And as always, if you have any questions on building out a golf simulator or any questions on the products we review on this channel, reach out to me anytime at rollin at mygaragegolf.com or check out our landing page at www.rainorshinegolf.com backslash garage golf. We want to be here to answer any and all questions you may have at home. Let's jump right into the video. All right, so the best part is always taking this beautiful thing out of the wrapper. All right, and let's show you a little bit more. So you get the awesome putter head cover, as you see. So the front line here, Cleveland on the front. And here's this beautiful putter from Cleveland, Elevato Putter. Again, this is the single bend version. This is gonna be $199 on their website. Here you see you got the tungsten weighting in the front. You got the speed face technology on the front, on the front of the putter. Um, and again, single bend. Now there's multiple versions of this putter. I'm gonna take you to the website as well to show you a little bit more about what kind of options you have. But this front line Elevato Putter is considered the flagship putter of their new line. And again, every single putter that they're coming out with is under $200, so really affordable for the most part. Really, really good technology. Looking forward to taking this out to the golf course. Uh, before we do that, let's jump onto the computer real quick. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about what they offer. Then we're gonna take this out to the golf course and get you some footage, let you know our thoughts on this beautiful putter. So here we are real quickly on Cleveland Golf's website and every single putting style, every single design style that you like, whether you wanna look more for a blade or for a mallet, you pretty much has every option at your disposal here on their website. And then again, uh, pretty much all of them come with that Lampkin pistol grip, which I really, really like. Uh, that is an awesome putter grip. We had a really good time testing that putter grip as well. Uh, so just gonna kind of give you a little bit of an idea as far as uh, getting an idea as far as what options you have at your disposal. And here's everything all on one page. And again, every single one of these putters uh, is listed at under $200. And there's three pages of options that you have at your disposal. Uh, there's different options. These are not the frontline ones, I believe. These are the Huntington's. But you still have, even onto the second page, you have the Frontline 2.0 Flow Neck. So everything under $199 here on Cleveland Golf's website. And again, there's going to be a putter out there for every single option that you that you have, whether you do a straight back and through, whether you have the slight arc, or whether you have more of a severe arc as well. Um, as you see here, a strong arc. So lots of options. Wanted to kind of show that to you. Um, and also wanted to kind of show you one other cool thing that I saw. Let me take you to the main page of Cleveland's website. And I wanted to show you something that I saw that really kind of stood out to me as well. They have a frontline demo program, which I wanted to kind of showcase with you guys. If you wanted to have an opportunity to test the putter uh, before you officially buy it, you can try it before you buy it. There's a demo frontline putter program that you can choose to demo how it works. You basically get an opportunity to pick one of these putters that would work for you. Uh, you have up to 14 days once you receive it to hit the range, play a round or two, or fully experience the frontline difference. If you're happy with it, they'll process the payment. And if you decide that you don't like it, you send it back and all they charge is a $30 handling fee. But you know what? That's pretty awesome in my opinion for them to do that because that gives you the option uh, to be able to test this to make sure that it's a good fit for you before you ultimately purchase the entire product. So that's something to keep in mind if anyone's interested. But I thought I'd show you a little bit more about what they do and what, they're, what the options would be for this particular putter. Um, so let's go ahead and take this out to the golf course now. And uh, we're going to show you a little bit more about our experiences with the Elevato putter, which is really their flagship putter, I feel, um, out of this. I think 
that it's one of the coolest designs that they have and uh, it was definitely the one that caught my eye the most out of all of them so let's jump to the golf course now we're going to take you to Alsatian golf course today and uh, give you our feedback on the Cleveland Frontline Elevato putter and now meet the testers here's today's tale of the tape Hey fellow garage golfers, this is Gilbert at Alsatian Golf Club. Today we are going to be testing out the Cleveland Frontline Elevato Putter. Stay tuned. Yeah, this is feels really great. Feels real balanced. I like the weight of it. Um, anytime you strike it out of the middle, man, it just feels nice and soft and nice and smooth. I mean, like I said right there, that was probably about a six foot putt. And I never usually feel comfortable with those putts, but with this in my hands, I really do. He's been knocking them down all day. I think Gilbert's called dibs on this putter. Oh yeah, this is definitely going in the bag. All right, so we're gonna try a little Texas wedge out with this Elevato putter. See if this, uh, all that tungsten weighting is going to help us out. Get this thing onto the green and close to the hole. Really like this pistol grip. Definitely one of the one of my favorites. Can't beat that Texas wedge. Let's see if we can make this putt now. So, first impressions with this putter is that the tungsten weighting really helps with the accuracy. It has the speed face, which is nice as well. And um, the 2135 alignment that Cleveland is known for as well really helps you line up the putts. Really, really loving this putter so far. Oh my God, what a putt. Look at that putt from there.
even though I make that easy picking up the ball. I really haven't had to be doing that all day. This club almost makes it itself. Definitely feels heavy duty though, for sure. And that's one thing, um, I don't know if it's the tungsten weighting on the front, but I've been comparing this to a couple other putters that we have out here today. It definitely has a little bit of a heft to it, which uh, who doesn't, right? But I kind of like that and it's pretty forgiving, pretty accurate. Overall, been really enjoying using this Cleveland Frontline Elevato putter. Okay, so after 18 holes out here testing the Cleveland Frontline Elevato putter with Gilbert and Danny, again, this is the straight back and through single band putter version. There's multiple versions, which we've shown you on the computer now. Um, we've had a really good time testing it, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and compile our scores now. We're gonna take you back to the studio. We're gonna let you know what we rank this putter based upon our initial testing today, and if we think it's a good fit for you at home to test out as well. All right, so as you see from our videos, we like to have a really fun time out on the golf course, and we had a fantastic time testing out the Cleveland Frontline Elevato putter. Um, I had to actually pry this out of Gilbert's hands because uh, he, he fell in love with this putter. He was making putts from all over the golf course today. But I wanted to go ahead and finish up this review for you guys at home and give you our overall score based upon our initial impressions on the Cleveland Frontline Elevato putter. So let's jump right into that now. So we're gonna go ahead and base our reviews on five categories when we're testing out putters here at Garage Golf from an everyday average golfer's perspective. So what we're going to base this on is number one, appearance, number two, feel, number three, forgiveness, number four, performance, and number five, quality. So we're gonna go over each category now and give you our score. It's gonna be at, at a ranking of one to five. We're gonna call them golfies, they're our garage golf guys, and we're gonna give them a golfie award based upon each category. Then we're going to give you an overall total score for this putter based upon our reviews here today. So let's start with appearance first. And as far as appearance is concerned, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's stealth. It's sleek. We have the black shaft. We have the awesome lampkin grip with the pistol grip here that you see as well. Uh, we have the matte finish. We have the 2135 alignment technology. We have the speed face that we talked about. And we have the tungsten weighting, which really makes a big difference. Uh, overall, really cool design, by far our favorite from the group of the putters available as far as the looks. Uh, so we're going to give this out of a five golfy rating. We're gonna go ahead and give it a 4.75, which is a pretty awesome score. Moving on to feel now. So feel and forgiveness are two different categories. When we're talking about feel, we're talking about how does it feel in your hands? How does it feel with your stroke? How easy is it to set up your putt? How easy is it for you to go back and through, especially with this model, which is a straight back and through. Um, so overall, really, really good experiences with it. We had no issues. Putts were easy to line up. Uh, everything felt great in your hands, aligning your putt. And overall, we're gonna give it 4.5 out of five for feel. Now jumping into the forgiveness category. So overall, really feel that this tungsten weighting helped out a lot on the front and it really helped with accuracy as far as lining up your putts. Again, Gilbert, probably between the three of us in all honesty, and I think he'll be the first to admit it, he's probably the worst putter out of the three of us, uh, but not today. Today he was knocking putts down. He used this predominantly throughout the day. We all got our hands on it and got to test it. Uh, but we were actually testing this with another putter throughout the day as well. And uh, overall, we really fell in love with the Cleveland Frontline putter. Uh, did really, really good work. Uh, forgiveness was really, really good on it as well. Uh, even on miss hits, if you were to hit it off the toe or the heel, we saw the putts going straight. It wasn't losing a lot of distance, and it gives you an opportunity to sink that putt. Uh, and even with a smaller face, you know, as you see across the front, this is smaller, obviously, than most blades, but still very forgiving. So we're going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 for forgiveness. All right, and moving on now to performance. This thing was knocking putts down all day. So really, that's going to combine categories such as fill and forgiveness, quality, pretty much everything all together into one performance category. And we have no complaints with this putter at all. Cleveland Frontline putter really was meeting our demands, if not exceeding them. Again, knocking down putts. We did lag putts from off the green. Uh, we did a whole bunch of putts throughout as we tried different things throughout the day. And overall, very, very happy with performance. We're gonna give it 4.75 out of five for performance. And that brings us to our last and final category, which is quality. And overall quality, 
Uh, I really can't rate this any higher. It feels great in your hands. It feels like very durable quality. It looks good. We'll see how durability holds up over time as we continue to review this. Uh, but overall, very, very pleased with the Cleveland Elevato putter. Um, it was great quality. You can tell it's made very heavy duty. It feels great in your hands. Um, it looks like this finish is going to hold up for quite a while. Obviously, if you take care of your things, uh, that's going to really make a big difference. So that putter head cover will be on this as we continue to use it and uh, take it in and out of our bags and things of that nature. But with the tungsten weighting and everything involved with this putter and the feel of it and durability, I really think that there's no better score to give this putter than a 5 out of 5, which is our ultimate top score that we can give for quality. And uh, I don't think we're ever going to regret giving it that score here in the future moving forward. All right, and if you total everything up and you divide it by five, we're going to go with our final score out of a five rating of 4.7 for the Cleveland Elevato putter. Winner! And again, I really, really was impressed with this putter. So we are going to put this on our garage golf must try list of putters here for 2021. I really feel that you won't, you won't regret giving this putter an opportunity. And if this is not the style for you, the straight back and through, again, there's different options, there's different neck styles. If you have a uh, stroke in your putt that's not straight back and through, then definitely check out their website again that we discussed. I'll put the link down below so you can check out all their putters and let us know if you have any questions on our experience with it. That's what I wanna do. This is where we plan to go moving forward with our channel is continuing to do the golf simulator stuff that we do, but also providing golf product reviews from an everyday average golfer's perspective. And between Gilbert, Danny, and myself, we really got a good, you know, pretty much a good ratio of every different type of golfer that's out there. So let us know if you have any questions. We really appreciate you guys hanging out with us as always. If you have any questions directly for me, reach out to me at Roland at mygaragegolf.com. If you liked our video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification for more videos like what you saw here today. Make sure to join our Facebook group down below. That's where we can communicate with you at home. We can direct message each other, answer any other questions you have, as well as the multiple followers from our channel that you can ask. You're gonna have a huge abundance of people that you can ask a lot of questions to on both golf simulator stuff and golf products. So looking forward to the next video. If you guys have any questions, reach out to us. And as always, until the next time we see you, keep on golfing. Thanks again.